Okay, so in this tutorial, in this tutorial today, we're going to be creating a Discord bot. So what we first want to do is go to the Discord website, and under the Developers tab here, we want to go to the Developer Portal. And you probably won't see anything here. I've already made two bots, but we want to create a new application. And uh, just call it and this isn't a bot. This is just the application. Well, if you want to create a bot, you have to go down here and add bot. And there you go. You have a bot, but it's not that simple. You have to actually program the bot. So let's create a new Python. Actually, no, before we do that, if you don't have it, which you most likely don't, you're going to have to get discord.py. So pip install discord.py. And you'll see all these requirements are already satisfied for me because I already have it. But for you, it'll most likely install. So now I'm going to create a new file here. It's just uh, bot.py. And let's edit this with idle. And first, what we want to do is import Discord. And then from Discord, oh, sorry for that. Uh, from Discord, import Discord. Oh wait, what am I saying? From Discord. Ext, import commands. Now, if we want to actually set up our client, we have to create it, right? So, client equals commands. Dot bot, and here's where you set your prefix. Every bot has a prefix, right? In on pop, the popular music bot rhythm, the prefix is exclamation mark. On the uh, popular bot Dank Memer, the prefix is PLS. So, how about we make, oh, my bad, command underscore prefix equals, how about we make this just uh, greater than sign? So, we basically made the client there. Now, we have to actually make it do something. So at client dot event async define on underscore ready. And so basically what this is is when the when the client starts up, when it's ready, it will do something. And how about we just say print bot is good to go something nice something simple and this may seem like that that's that's it this may seem like that's it but there's actually more we have to actually run the bot and this this part is uh, you you gotta be a bit careful here because this is the token okay and I don't and I, I might as well reveal it this is what a token looks like I'll just regenerate it this is what a token looks like and the token is basically what the program the program uh, runs it based off the token and discord has all the tokens for all the bots stored and for a specific bot, uh, it will check in the program what the token is and match it w in their database, and then that bot will run this code. So we're going to use this token here. You should not share this token with anyone else, otherwise they can use their own code to run something on your bot, and they might be trolling you or something. So we're going to do client dot run token. And just just so you know, you can make client anything. You just got to keep it consistent throughout. So you could call it bot, and then you'd have to make this bot, you'd have to make that bot, and you'd have to make that bot. So now, this should run, this should just run perfectly. Oh my goodness, it's a bit noisy today, isn't it? And there you go, bot is good to go. But, if we want to actually be thorough about this, how about we print the servers it's in? Right now it's not in any servers, but if we wanted to invite it to a server, how about yeah, we're just gonna cut this we go to OAuth 2 here and we want to make this a bot okay and I'll just give it administrator permissions that just gives it all these permissions and then see this link right here you copy that link you don't have to worry about this this is uh, redirect if you want a better link than this so we're gonna copy this and let me just add this to my let's leave that there and then let's just add this I want to add blah to. Let's add it here. There's nobody in the server for, for now, but 
we'll do a bit of testing here. Now I head over to Discord. And oh right, wait, I forgot to opt did I? Yes, as you can see, it's up online. La is here. Okay, these are these are two other bots I worked on. Uh, I'm not I worked on mainly this bot, but we'll talk about that later. So we can go here to main. And what we can do Okay, we're gonna turn off this bot and let's let's do on ready, let's go through all the servers the bot is in. So for guild in client dot guilds print guild dot oops guild dot name and this will basically print all the guilds the client is in. Okay? So let's run this again. Oh my goodness, it really is noisy. <sighs> my bad. Sorry. Alright. Now this should work. Yeah, and you'll see it prints out Silicon Dev's form. And that's this this is just how you create a bot. This code right here will be how you create a bot. But if you wanna if you wanna make ads features to the bot, you can watch our future videos and we'll show things like how help help commands, adding ping, um, mentioning a user using the bot, all sorts of cool things we'll we'll show you. So just hang in there. Alright. Thank you for watching.